And what is up, my dudes? I'm DeFinley. This is Piping Hot Frags in the Morning with the Duff. We're going to get down to it with the local news on your FPSs, general tech, maybe some other current events going on in the world that might be important. You know, who blew up who or whatever, if it's that big of a deal. So the first thing on the list is um, CSGO announced the uh, teams that are going to be uh, going on in the tournament. So three teams. Well, there's four different groups. Three teams per group are going to be returning from the 2006 uh, E-League tournaments. So the top three contenders on each group. Uh, hold on. Feedback off. All right, so all three contenders are going to be returning from the old uh, 2006 E-League. And then going from there, you're going to have a qualifying team, uh, two from America, two from Europe. The qualifying days will be August 26th and August 27th. And there's going to be four teams selected, like I said, two from America, two from Europe. And that's going to fill in the last four slots that are going to be open. The rest of the slots are already predetermined from the 2016, like I said. And so that's going to be interesting. It'd be interesting who nabs those next slots for the CSGO tournaments. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big CSGO guy. I mean, I like CSGO. I like the whole idea of it. I'm more a fan of original CS because more so now, it seems like um, Counter-Strike has kind of went towards the whole microtransactions, money-generating bullshit, uh, just like uh, Team Fortress did. And I don't know. It's still a good game. I'm not going to trash on it too much. It's still good. You know, it's not bad. But it's uh, it's definitely different than something that I'm used to. I mean, that kind of deal. So, you know, we can go with that. That type of thing. Um, yeah, that's that's how that is. Screw it. I don't, I don't know. I'm retarded. Screw it. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, next on the list is AMD's RX Vega. Uh, it's set to be matching the performance, I guess, of a 1080. I'm not sure if I'm buying that yet. Um, you know, we'll see. I mean, that's what it's looking like by the preliminary uh, image from 3D Marks uh, database that was uploaded. Um, uh, I'm looking at it. It's just like a couple points underneath there. What is it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, 17805 versus 17447 for the uh, for the Vega, I guess, or some shit. I don't know, man. I <sighs> Who knows? You know, until we actually get the white sheets or whatever, uh, this card is going to, you know, and it's still going to be pri uh, priced around the same price as a 1080. So really, at that point, it becomes a software game. I mean... Do you really want to be running a card that doesn't, um, you know, have a software bundle that you like? I mean, NVIDIA's got a great bundle. They've got a great software package with their shadow play features tying automatically into Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. You know, there's so many different streaming platforms out there. And for fucking NVIDIA to just simply add that shit right into their software pouch, that's cool. I don't know if um, AMD... ATI, Radian, whatever the hell you want to call them. I'm not a fanboy of anything. It's just I haven't used them since uh, 2000 and something, like early 2000s. Um, so, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know where their software package is at right now. I haven't used them in a while. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I mean, here's fingers crossed for the market getting competitive again because, you know, AMD is what drives Intel and, you know, also with NVIDIA when it goes to the uh, graphical cards. So that's what's going to drive our push to get, um, what's that, Volta. We need the Volta out because uh, that's NVIDIA's next line. We're going to want, we're going to want to see that coming out here shortly because, you know, that's that's going to be something good. I mean, who doesn't think that, you know, pro progress is driven by competition. And so you've seen uh, in the last couple months or you know, last month or two, I guess. I mean, it's about a couple, whatever. So you've seen in the last little bit that um, you have uh, Intel sitting there and releasing this X299 platform, whether it seems like a smart move or a bad move, I don't know. But 
you see this release and it, it's almost questionable if it's um if it's a smart release because you know it's like wow uh you know that's actually below what AMD's releasing with their uh, what is that the uh, their Threadripper yeah the the 399 platform which yeah that that had to be a big fuck you pointed towards Intel and their whole 99 scheme or some shit I don't know um so that's an interesting one I'm interested very interested to see what's going to go on with that um I think the stats I read on that the other day was uh, 24 lanes on the Intel and or something like that. And I was just like, God damn, that was bad. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't set in stone yet. So I don't know. I haven't seen a white sheet on it yet. It's possible that it exists. I don't know. Screw it. Um, Going on from that, we're moving on up here in my list of things to talk about. Uh, Player Unknown. Couple updates been up. Um, they're trying to bust the cheaters even more effectively now. You know that's no shock or no surprise. They're getting tired of uh, you know people bitching on the dev forums. You know, so kudos to them trying to bust them fuckers more regularly. Um, yeah, there's a recent update. Uh, I think it was about ten days ago or whatever. Uh, you can no longer shoot your gun under the water. They kind of fixed a bug where uh, you still had to press F to go through a door that was blown up by a grenade or an explosion or some shit. You know, minor incidental stuff. Uh, there was a couple other things fixed in that patch, but nothing really that... It wasn't a persistent problem. They were far and few between, but they were problems that needed to be fixed because, you know, they're problems with the game. Um, along with that, Player Unknown did say they're shoving back the release date to the fourth quarter, somewhere in the fourth quarter of 2017. Um, they are assuring us that they are going to release uh, on... You know, on this new slot of time, they're not just going to keep shoving it back and shoving it back. And so that's one of the things is they are pushing for that fourth quarter release. And they wanted to assure that that's one of the big things is that um, they want that release time. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that because a lot of devs, you know, they shrug it off. They uh, they change release dates. They change release times. And, you know, there's a lot of games that stay in development for a really long time. I mean, look at Rust. How long did is, is is I don't know if it's still in alpha or not. I don't know. I mean, how long did it stay in alpha? It might still be in alpha. I don't fucking know. I lost track. That's that's how long it stayed in in alpha. It might still be in alpha. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I quit tracking it. Fuck it. I mean, you know what? What are you gonna do? I mean, you're sitting there and you're fucking skivvies fucking playing a video game for you know three years that it's in alpha. That's bullshit. Quit doing that, devs. It's asshole and it's Ash Nine and it's, it's just wrong. Got our money. Finish the goddamn product so we can hold you accountable for the expectations of your damn game. Don't let it be like No Man's Sky. That shit was bullshit. Hashtag never pre order anymore after that fucking game. Uh, speaking of pre ordering and getting burned. Uh, Mafia 3 dropped some DLC, so there's new DLC for Mafia 3. Um, I didn't order it and get burned, but a lot of my buddies, they, they ordered it, I guess, and they felt like it was shit. I actually bought it and had it for like 20 minutes or something like that, and then, uh, returned that shit automatically to the Steam store. Thank you, Steam, for having such a great return policy, as long as you don't go over two hours of gameplay. That shit's awesome, my dude. Um... A side note, you know, how about we have, um, you know, how about we just go back to having demos? You know, people would quit pirating games. People would quit trying to cheat, you know, the system and get shit for free. If we were able to actually try the game um, for a decent or free price, you know, and um, quit using your betas as fucking demos. That shit doesn't count. And you're only reaching part of your community with the de with uh, the betas, you know. I got to beta test uh, both uh, Wildlands and um, what was that stupid game? Oh, For Honor. You know, I beta tested both those games. Um, all my friends asked me, "Hey, what do you think of these games?" I'm thinking about buying it. For Honor looks really good, you know. And I spit it back to my friends, like, "Hey, check this shit out, man. This is some whack ass shit." You know, it's a bunch of weeaboo fanboys on the one side, and then the other side's crammed full of these assholes. And then the next thing you know, 
Um, the other side's empty. So you got three teams, and only two teams are really highly populated. Um, and going on top of that, there's it was just this really toxic community overnight if you didn't play a certain way. And then going on from that, you know, it, it just uh, it, it just fell apart in the first couple weeks of release. And I was just, it was one of those games I wish would have went well for the devs, but it didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. And um, I feel bad. I feel bad for it. It might be doing better now. I haven't checked in. I quit following it because, in my eyes, that game sucked. Um, and that's for owner. Uh, as it goes for Wildlands, the only reason why I own Wildlands is because I got it for free with my graphics card. Um, you know, it was one of those games that I wasn't going to buy for 60 bucks. I'm tired of spending 60 bucks on AAA titles. And, you know... It used to be you got what you paid for. $60 games were $60 games. You got a solid, like, 20-hour playthrough campaign, uh, some kind of online content, and you were usually guaranteed some kind of update or DLC down the road that wasn't just going to die out in, you know, four months or six months. You know, something was going to be going on with it. And so that's, that's you know, that's that. Um... So, you know, this the days of paying $60 for a goddamn fucking title, and then, you know, within six months, it's a dead game. That's some fucking horseshit, and I'm kind of tired of it. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, um, you know, you got games like Player Unknown Battlegrounds that are, you know, sweeping the industry with uh, over 5 million copies sold. That's ludicrous. I looked at the numbers the other day. We're sitting at over 400,000 peak. That's crazy numbers. When you look at um, when you look at the numbers of people playing video games, four hundred thousand peak at one time, consistently hitting two hundred thousand people at one time. That's consistent numbers over and over again. That is a lot of people playing one video game. So uh, kudos to this dev team for hitting this shit out there. Player unknown. Doing a good job. Love it. Everybody's getting happy. You know, there's some hackers out there. They're going to ruin it for people a little bit, but, you know, they're cracking down on it. Fuck it. Uh, you know, to go back to Player Unknown a little bit more, uh, there's another recent spike in the uh, in the Twitch Prime loots. I guess people are felt left out. And so if you got your Twitch Prime uh, loot from having Twitch Prime and going into the game and linking your account and shit like that, if you got that loot, um, you know, the case itself is selling, you know, for a decent amount. Um, if you open your case and you've been wearing the shit, no big deal. It still sells for pretty decent. So that's, you know, it's decent enough to hit the hot sheets. Uh, people are talking about it. It's, uh, it's out there. And, you know, if you need some extra cash, there you go. Sell your Twitch gear on that, uh, player unknown fucking shit. Get that Steam market, sell that shit, hawk it. Buy yourself a new video game with some free loot you had from having a Twitch Prime account. I know I'm thinking about it. I'm a student, so I have my Twitch Prime for free because I got my uh, Amazon Prime for free because I'm a student. And so uh, I was like, hey, check this shit out. I, I, man, I actually made money off of that. So, you know, that's not a bad sounding gig to me. You know, that's some cool shit right there, eh? And so, um, you know, going with that, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, we got a Adobe uh flash player it's dead or it's dying it's in the process of dying should i say um uh it, it's it's kind of sad because you know i wonder what's going to happen to all the uh the old uh the old uh games and these old grounds yeah uh, you had uh these undergrounds and stuff like that with all these flash player games and stuff that was so fun back in the day uh that I'm just interested to see what's going to happen to these, uh, what was that one, uh, the Newgrounds or some shit like that. Really big Flash fucking thing back in the day, you know. But like I said, this is, uh, this is all old school shit. Uh, and so we're, we're going to see what happens, uh, to all the Flash stuff. Who knows, um, but yeah, Adobe Flash, dead of 2020 is its scheduled death date, will no longer be, uh, being used. So, uh, rip to you, my buddy. You know, we had a long time, long, long, long time. And uh, now it, now it's coming to an end here shortly. So, uh, I, I'm wondering, I'm really wondering what's going to replace it. Um, 
you know, what's going to be the, uh, the grunt workhorse of the interwebs after that. And that'll, that'll be interesting to see. I mean, cause, uh, you know, if you go on several different, you know, you can just go around to random websites on the internet and, uh, you see flash everywhere. So it'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting to see what the hell goes on and, uh, what's going on with what. Uh, once that dies off but like i said that's not until 2020 adobe is dead as of that year uh, moving on with technology again uh you know uh just kind of staying current on tech because that's important to us gamers and whatnot uh you have samsung updating their bigsby i don't know if you guys are samsung users or not but uh pff, fuck man that bigsby shit's stupid I hate it. I don't use it. Don't like it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Um, you can update it all you want. I'm still going to keep the button disabled. You can re-enable the button. I'm still only going to press that button when I'm looking for the volume down button by accident. Um, I hate that fucking button, actually, because I'm, I'm wanting volume down. I'm not wanting a personal assistant to pop up. So, um, yeah, Samsung, keep updating your Bigsby. I don't give a shit. Um... That's Samsung news. Uh, we got Apple. Apple, uh, they might be coming to the United States of America with a production plant. Their supplier, uh, Foxconn, is talking about a $1 billion budget to build something somewhere, but won't release where it's going to go. And so, you know, you got a billion dollars to build it somewhere. You got Trump saying he wants to impose all this fucking import tax and shit on products. You've got uh, the heart of Intel and Samsung shit coming here to fucking Arizona and shit fucking building goddamn fucking new uh, plants out there. You know, like Arizona's becoming the new Silicon Valley here soon, shortly, from what I hear, I guess. And so, along those lines, you know, boom, smart move on Apple. But like I said, they're still not saying where it's being built. They're just saying they're slotting a billion dollars to put something somewhere i wonder where it's gonna go <laughs> and i wonder what it's gonna look like i mean a billion dollars that's a big fucking building god damn what would you do with a billion dollar building i mean fuck <laughs> eh, we'll just invest a billion dollars in a fucking building you know no big fucking deal um yeah that's uh moving on with that um you know along the same kind of lines there lift Oddly enough, Lyft is moving to make their own self-driving car like what Google's doing. Um, it's kind of a weird thing to hear that they want to do that. Because, you know, they started out just like Uber, having people drive cars for them at, you know, decent rates, you know. And so it was a win-win. People got to drive their cars, got to make a little bit of money, didn't have to do with like a full-time like responsible job, I guess, if you want to say it was kind of clock in clock out when you want to type do it. I don't know. I don't do it. I've got cracks in my windshield. They don't like that, I guess. So I never applied. Um, so yeah, you got Lyft, um, sitting there trying to make their own uh, self-driving car now. So that's going to be an interesting one to see. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, uh, really wondering what's going to, what's going to, what's going to, what's going to come from this. Cause, uh, you know, how would you feel if your boss basically says we're working on a way to replace you just you fucking stay around and work for us for right now don't worry about it i'd probably be seeking other employment if i were them but that's me i don't know i mean it's like the guys working at mcdonald's as soon as i heard it you know like about that goddamn uh i was at burger king and mcdonald's both wanting to implement uh self-checkouts just like a lot of the grocery stores are doing now so you know you got a minimal employees in the back just making the food and handing the food to the people after the people selected on a menu and so you know how many employees were thinking like oh they're gonna implement this shit i better find another job how many people you actually think went out and found new jobs and how many you think are asked out now that'd be an interesting number i'd like to see Ah, oh, goddamn coffee, I love it. Nah. Fucking too much coffee. I'm going a mile a minute over here. <laughs> Just writing a whole bunch of fucking shit down on these notes, you know? I mean, I try to I, I try to prepare a couple of things to talk about. 
before I fired up the stream, you know, just current fucking events. Um, you know, like the CSGO tournament coming up, that's going to be a big one. That's, you know, that's always the big thing. It sits on the top of the stream list for, you know, usually about two, three weeks, you know, during a tournament, after a tournament, and before a tournament. So it'll be interesting to see that fucking shit happen. You know, and then on top of that, um, you know, you got Star Citizen uh, showing off their derelict ships in-game economy in uh, new videos now. Um, so kudos to that dev team. I'm really interested in Star Citizen. I want to see more things from it. Um, I still am not quite sold on it. My buddy Miles, I know he's invested a lot of money into it. I know um, one of our guys uh, in the 907 Gamers, I consider him a buddy as well. His name's JC. He's a really awesome fucking dude. Uh, JC, I know you've invested some time and money as well into the game. Uh, I'm still just not quite sold on it. I think there's uh, more that needs to be done. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say like No Man's Sky because that's not fair to that game because I know it's a lot better than what No Man's Sky ever promised already. And it's got a great dev team behind it that's pushing it to be what it's supposed to be. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and try to knock on a game because of, you know, it's not exactly my play style. But, you know, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. You're going to get that. Uh, you know, no big deal. No big deal. I mean, I'm going to try to stay positive about it. I want to see what's going to happen with it, you know. I had to mute the mic. Needed to belch one out there. Didn't want to be rude. <laughs> um... Oh, wow, the Humble Saints Row bundle is now live for the minimum of $1 tier. Surprisingly, the Saints Row will be included. So go ahead and check that out. If you're not aware of Humble Bundle, I always want to say Humble Bumble, <laughs> but it's Humble Bundle. Um, you know, you get really dirt cheap prices on games that are they're not always current. Sometimes they're more than a couple of years old, but at times they're, um, you know, like just a couple of months old and they got a really, you know, good in with the devs or whatever. And, you know, that, that'll be uh, kind of interesting to see what happens there. Um, so yeah, uh, that, that, you know, you, like I said, I mean, boom, you got, you got a cool game on humble, humble bundle. So go check out the Saints Row uh, on there. Like I said, it's a buck. Uh, HumbleBundle.com. Can't miss it, you know. Some shit like that. And you'll you'll figure it out, man. They'll send you the code and shit like that. Um, in news for uh, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft uh, legacy server uh, flail mist shut down by Blizzard hours after going live. That's some friggin' horse shit. I mean, why? I mean, you greedy... This just right here goes to fucking put the icing on the goddamn cake that I've been saying for a long time. Blizzard's fucking scared. They're losing their fucking player base. Yep. Chewy coffee. <laughs> Chunks. Um, And that's, that's just kind of one of those things that where it's like... Okay, why are you picking on the little guy? You know? And it's legacy. It's not like it's current shit. I don't even know if Blizzard offers legacy servers anymore or, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, the reason why the guys are playing want to play on these legacy servers is because I know for a fact when I was playing on them that it was... It was going back to the basic old school fucking fun that we had. You know, the vanilla and the um, free BC and BC rating. Um, they kept dicking with the talent trees and then boom, overnight, you know, going into the new expansions. They said, oh, fuck talent trees. We'll just give you these skill selects or whatever the hell they're called. I don't even know what they're called anymore. I haven't played the latest expansion. I stopped last expansion. Um, said never more because they turned, uh, they basically turned uh, WoW into a Facebook game. You know, you got to log in daily. You got to sit there and you got to go, you know, check on this and update that and send people out into the fucking world. Uh, and then you got to go and then you got to collect it. And then you got to log back in. And it's like, you know what? No. I play fucking WoW. 
that I could do some raids with my buddy, drink some beers, and pound shots after downing fucking hard bosses. Because that's what we fucking did. Then you turned it into this goddamn socialized game where, oh, we gotta get our buddies together, we gotta get linked up, do all these, like, fucking, like, send your stupid things out into the goddamn world, and then you gotta pray that they come back great so you can get sweet loots. Um... That's just a little too much fucking RNG, and you know what? I really don't care for your RNG, Blizzard. It's always fucked me over. Fuck your RNG, Blizz. You know, whatever. You know, shut down the little guy's server. Whatever. You guys are dicks. But that's that's my personal opinion. Whatever. What do I know, right? Mm, let's see. Free DLC earlier this week for the goddamn Dying Light. I don't know if anybody has Dying Light. Anybody still plays Dying Light, but, um, yeah, free content, so if you're, uh, a Dying Light fan, or you have it, and you haven't checked it out recently, go check out your Dying Light, because it's got a DLC came out, so, um, yeah, cool, right on, I haven't played it, don't know much about it, that's just how it goes, I mean, what do you, you can't play every game out there, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it, it sounded cool, I wanted to get it, just never got it. So, yeah. Uh, what do you got? GTA 5 Iron Man script mod launches awesome version 2.0. You know, I think that was one of the cool, one of the coolest friggin' um, mods for GTA 5 was the Iron Man suit. Because a lot of people, a lot of people I saw, like, instantly once that thing dropped, it was all over the YouTubes. People loved it. People saw it. Going crazy for it. Had to have it. Just all that, all about that Iron Man. It was beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, let's see. What else we got? We did the Star Citizen. We did the Humble Bundle. We did the uh, news about the goddamn Radian. Oh, God. Uh, HTC talk. No, I didn't want to talk about that. This is, you know, I'm tired of talking about uh, VR. Um, I think it's going to take a while before VR really gets any traction. Um, I talked about it yesterday. Um, chances are Mark Zuckerberg is going to be the driving push that we need for, and as much as I hate to say it, for VR to take off. I talked about it yesterday, but he's trying to do the whole VR on Facebook, and if that pushes it, that might just get it every household. So let's hope for that, I guess. Covered the AMD Vega. Talked about the Twitch Prime collection with PUBG, you know, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. And that was the big hot ones on all my list. I am pretty much done with everything that I had to spew in my piping hot frags. Um, so I'm going to start be doing this every morning. Just like, I don't know, probably a 20 minute to 45 minute little rant on current things coming out. Uh, changes in technology, like earlier I went over... Um, I went over technology like, uh, you know, the car, Cliff making its own damn car, Adobe Flash killing off in, you know, a couple of years, uh, you know, you, you, Apple maybe building a plant here in America, that kind of stuff. And that's going to keep us informed. I'm going to try to keep it, uh, you know, pretty much centered around gaming technology, though, for the most part, or, you know, nerd tech. I mean, I know a lot of guys, they like that lift shit up here in Alaska now because it's new and upcoming, you know, we just allowed it through our legislation, same thing with, um, Uber or whatever, fuck it, I don't, I don't know, don't care, have my own car, but I'm sure if I ever break down, my car ever breaks down or some shit like that, I'll, I'll use it, you know, rather than the cabs, I don't know, um, it's just as simple as opening an app as they make it look, and just selecting something, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably end up using it, I don't know, I never needed to, um, cause luckily, knock on my wooden desk, um, we have a really cool cab company here, and you just keep pressing two, and no matter how drunk you are, somebody eventually picks up the phone, and you're connected to a cab driver. I love that. Just keep hitting two. What a racket, man, because I don't care how drunk you are, you can remember to go two, 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 two. That's a great number to have for a cab company, so kudos to those guys. That's, that's funny. Um... Oh, that's one that I forgot to talk about. You got a proton beam being in the works right now for, um, currently for the cancer, uh, treatments. Um, 
I don't know if any of you guys out there have cancer survivors or current per people in your life with cancer that are dealing with it. I know several guys in my life that either have it or in are in remission or, you know, uh, they're still watching, you know, looking over their shoulder because they never know if it's going to come back. And so, um, and uh, I've lost a couple people in my life, actually, just last one, last year to it and uh, last grandmother, stuff like that. I mean, that's not the point. So the new idea of this proton uh, shit is they're going to do a scan, proton scan of you, see the cancer, and they're going to take these protons and they're going to, it's kind of like a depth charge for a particle. They're going to set it off right next to the cancer cell and blow the cancer cell up. I like that idea. Um, at least that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to bring it back. You know, one of those big Ivy League colleges. I didn't pay attention to one because I don't go to an Ivy League college. I go to a community college, I guess is what it's called. It's uh, nothing special, you know. It's just just the University of Alaska. Or Anchorage, Alaska. I don't know. Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. I don't know. Fuck it. UAA. There you go. There you go. Um, and I'm not even taking anything that groundbreaking. I'm taking fucking metallurgic and uh, metal studies, you know. Uh, what I'm doing has been done. Can I do it better? There's a possibility. But you know what? I'm not out there trying to save the world by fixing metal. Because you know what? Metal's been out there for years. And, uh, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm, 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 I'm saving the world by ensuring that good welds and good metal is in place for uh, the bridges and docks and other structures that you will utilize as a person. Making sure they're up to code and standards for engineering specs. We won't get into engineers because I don't have enough time this morning to get into that shit. Because those are the scum of the world. Um, I know yesterday I talked about uh, people that cheat in multiplayer games. And how you have like pedophiles here. You have pawn scum here. You know, somewhere right here is people that cheat in multiplayer games. Well, you know, somewhere in that same spectrum is where engineers fall on my list for the most part. Um, they're horrible people. No place for them most of the time. There's a couple select few that I like, though. But for the most part, horrible people. Just horrible people. <laughs> but but that's what happens when you spend, you know, anywhere from like 20 to 80 grand and four to eight years in college and then come right into a blue-collared working force and nobody respects you, even though you feel like you're the boss. Oh, God damn. All right, my dudes. Well, that is Piping Hot Frags with uh, DeFinley. Um, I hope I sufficiently fulfilled your needs of first-person shooter news. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'll do some news on um, Battlefield or one of the other Battle Royale games coming up in the next days to come. I don't know. Um, it seems like the hot ticket right now is CSGO and uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. So... I'm going to talk about what the people want to play and are playing because they got to stay informed. And that's how you stay uh, ahead of the game is staying informed. Anyways, you guys, stay frosty, my dudes. Later. Oh, my God. God damn it. Where's my fucking... There you go.